there once again is what are you searching for because there is a, it's a really huge priority and if you already found a human DNA you have a Spanish flu DNA there is a high potential you will find more things there you might have bacterial infection you might find another herpes viruses because if those persons uh, die from the Spanish flu and in the process of getting sick I believe that when the immune system starts going down and usually that's how disease work it's no one unique organism what is killing the host is that at the moment that the main uh, disease is affecting all the pathogens enter the system and start also messing around. So um, if you really start digging more information, I'm sure you will find bacteria, herpes virus, and who knows what else will be found in those samples. It's more like the searching for the data, and that's the part that, that the bioinformaticians do. That it's, 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 very, yeah, it's very demanding and takes a lot of time, but it, it's, it's possible to do it. Once again, everything is, is, there is a high potential, it's more what you're targeting to research. And that's usually where the limitation of, of most of the DNA studies, that of course you need to focus on one particular type of DNA.